Hey, today I'm going to teach you guys how to grow cactus seeds successfully in one, two, and three easy steps coming right up. Hello Cactus Boys and Girls, I'm Marlon with Succulents and Spice and welcome to our very first episode of how to grow cactus seeds. If you are new to this channel, might as well subscribe and click on the bell notification icon so that you won't miss the juicy items here. Wow, when was the last time I made a video? It's been a long time. How are you doing today? Well, we have been very busy. We've got a lot of things to do. Um, the great part is I went to Thailand for three times. Uh, Thailand is a very beautiful country. They also have a lot of food. Culture is very nice. They're, it's very rich. And the people there are very kind. It's a great opportunity to be there because we went to a lot of uh, nurseries in Thailand. We tried to study and get all of their methods on how to grow cactus seeds. These are actually the things that I want to share to you guys. So just stick with me and continue watching, okay? While we were in Thailand, we also sought the, the advice of um, famous breeders such as Sbira Sak. Um, well, everybody knows that he owns the DL Nursery. He also has the tea lines. When we say the tea lines, it's the T-Rex, the t Uh It's a new breed of gymnocalisiums. We are in acquaintance too with Niran. Niran Kurtziri owns the 250,000 baht gymnocalisium Mihanovici I CV Aurora. Pecham C. Well, everybody knows Pecham C, the celebrity CNS. Uh, she is known to have a wide range of awesome gymnocalisium lines. Q. She is a rising star in Thailand and she's a very good breeder and she has the newest method on how to grow cactus seeds and how to propagate them. And then we also went to Susie Sasa. Susie and her husband actually has one of the best nurseries that we've seen in Thailand. So Susie and her husband are into the crested forms of gymnocalisiums and they, what they're trying to do is to put color here by mixing it. Well, by breeding, I mean. You should see it too. In Thailand, we also bought a lot of mother plants and we started producing our own hybrids. Hmm, yes. And you know what? We already have 60,000 seeds. Sounds great, right? Well, so far we have remarkable progress. We have substantial increase on the survival rate of seedlings. And this is when we applied all the things that we learned in Thailand. So whatever you're going to learn in this video series that we're going to make, please, I'm begging you to apply it because we don't want you guys to commit the same mistakes we did four years ago. Yes, ganun kami katagalan seeds. And I'm going to share to you guys the best advice they all gave to me on how to grow cactus seed. So just keep on watching, okay? Let's get down to business, get your pens, and take some notes. But before we start, note that we are going to concentrate on the genus of Genocalisium, Astrophytum, Mellow, uh, Froilea, some Aloes, and some Vernias. And everything that I'm going to teach and share to you guys are all the best practices based on our experience. Here's the biggest question. How do you grow cactus seeds? And you know what? The funny thing is, the answer is very simple. They all told me to go to the basics. Very simple, right? And we're actually thinking of complex matter, but just keep it basic. But why? But how? I mean, the answer is actually very simple. There are only three steps on how to grow cactus seeds. One, two, and three. And if you insert something here, something new, and something went wrong, then that's the time you can trace on the problem and solve it. I'm not saying that you shouldn't apply new things that you've learned. What I'm saying is that you go to the basics first before you advance. Step one, make a soil medium that retains water. There are two kinds of materials we use for soil mix, inorganic and organic. Organic materials are coco peat, moss, vermicast, compost. Inorganic materials are vermiculite, perlite, pumice, and sand. Now, you can actually mix and match organic and inorganic materials. Remember, any mix will do as long as it holds more water. 
There's no perfect or secret formula for seed soil medium. As long as the medium retains water, then you're going to be fine. So after you've gathered the materials for the medium, mix them very well to distribute all the components evenly. After mixing your soil mix, you can place them on any container that you're going to use. And of course, to make the medium moist, you have to soak it for 5 minutes in water. Water is one of the main factors in seed germination. Growth will also be hindered on seedlings when they lose moisture because they need water to make food. Second step, sow the seeds and then close them for 8 to 12 months. The one that we are using right now is the bag method. It only uses a pot, a plastic, and a rubber band. You can also use microwavable containers like this. Just make it sure that you won't be putting holes at the bottom because fungus and insects would just get inside. We also have this box type greenhouse which is a miniature of the actual greenhouse that we have. Now if you can't find anything like this, you can make your own DIY greenhouse. And lastly, you have to prepare your seeds. But how do you sow seeds? It's simple. You just have to put the seeds on top of the medium, evenly distributed. And after sowing, you must put a tag on each individual pot. It must include the date of sowing, the name of the plant, or any special note. After putting the tags, put them inside the plastic. And our best practice for this one is that we spray it with water afterwards. This actually would ensure that the seeds would really get wet. Lastly, just have to seal it off using a rubber band. Third step, keep the seedlings in a shaded area. Seedlings are quite sensitive especially during the first quarter and exposure to direct sunlight will dehydrate them as up and will stunt their growth or eventually kill them. Sun exposure also promotes the growth of algae so less sun, less problems. Reminder that the pot must be relative to the quantity of seeds that you're going to have. Few seeds, smaller pot. But if you have a lot of seeds that you're going to sow, then use a bigger pot. Eyes on the door, you've got them trained. I know what you're thinking, what's it gonna take? Have another deep breath, think before you say. Think before you say, think before you say. I'll play the fool, you sit and wait. Awkward conversation, when's it gonna change? How has your day been? What else can I say? Just follow these basic steps and you won't go wrong. And if you have tons of questions, just put it on the comment section below. I'm going to answer that one at a time. Now again, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you won't miss the juicy items that I'm going to tell everybody. Before we say goodbye, I have something to you to think about for the next episode that we're going to have. Did you observe the pots A and the pots B? Why is that the pot A has more seeds than the pot B? They had the same process. They had the same soil. They also have the same number of seeds. They have the same aftercare. So what seems to be the problem? That's for you to find out. So I'm going to see you next time or in the next video. See you guys.